We definitely wanted to uh, challenge the established way of doing things. We want to do things differently. And this provides an opportunity to build a sense of community. What you're seeing at play is the general trend where larger American cities are heading. And that is to have a environment to where you can live, work, and play without ever having to get in the car and leave. It was a very unique opportunity to develop in close proximity to the city without being in the city. So here we have 80 acres of land that allows us a, a blank canvas, a clean slate. Uh, Libby Mill definitely breaks that barrier uh, in between what we traditionally call a suburb and what, what people will call our urban community. It's definitely going to be a community that you can live an entire day in. Places for people to go shop but also places for people to work. Think about what your employees are gonna want five years, 10 years down the road, and I think they're gonna get the best of all worlds and an experience that'll be unrivaled. Being able to live near where you work or where you go to dinner or where you shop, it's only now that we're kind of finding a new understanding of what it's like to live in a place where it's convenient to do all those things. From the very beginning, we uh, wanted to focus not only on uh, the buildings and the architecture, but on the public realm. So placemaking is um, simply the art or the act of creating a space outside of buildings that is attractive to people. Placemaking, really, the science of it shows that people are going to go where they're comfortable and they can make the place comfortable for them. We contracted with a firm from New York, Project for Public Spaces, that are expert in the area of placemaking. They bring to the public realm what our architects bring to buildings. Well, Project for Public Spaces did a few things for us that we know will make Liberal Midtown a more vibrant, livable community. So today we have a, uh, a trail, the beginning of a, of a trail that will circumnavigate the community called Jordan's Branch Trail. We have the Libby Mill Lake, and at the end of the uh, east edge of the lake, we have the, the plaza. We have an opportunity for folks to be here, perhaps for more than one reason. So all these different uses, these eclectic uses, will all feed off of one another. Everything's connected. And that's you know something that we want people to know here. Those sidewalks all connect to perimeter walking and biking trails that are actually now being widened to support biking. Folks really want to come and they want to be able to park and walk places, but they also want to be able to see a little bit of nature. And I think this gives them the best of both worlds. Well, we have you know the public library right behind us. We have this fabulous walking trail with this great lake in the middle. Building a collaborative space uh, and, and as well as having a, a collaborative area to walk around. I mean, you can't get that downtown. I mean, you can walk around, you're going to walk around among the skyscrapers. The public doesn't necessarily understand the difference, like where the library ends and Gumminick's property begins, and they don't care. They just know that it's a nice place to go. So, location is everything to a lot of different communities. The people are looking for a 15 minute livable community. The idea of Midtown says it all. It is midway between the downtown area and the western suburbs. We're 15 minutes from virtually anywhere in the region. Libby Mill is sort of an oasis. You know, it's a special space that's very accessible and that's one thing that has really worked out well for us. You're really close to the city, but you're not having to be completely in the city, which is nice. And you're also right by the highway. You, can... you know, with 125 employees, we have people coming from all corners of the region. Virtually everybody was impacted positively, not negatively, by moving to this location. Accessibility from 64. 95, the near west end, Libby comes straight through now. So accessibility is a great one and parking is wonderful too. At the locations we were actually looking at was actually a couple were downtown and all had very restrictive parking and expensive parking. And to be able to come to Libby Mill and have, you know, the opportunity of ample parking and free parking at that, it was, it's huge. 
can jump on the interstate, I can be in Ashland in, in, in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes. I could be in the West End in you know, eight to 10 minutes. I can be downtown in 10 minutes. So to me, that's, that's just huge. We've ridden bikes like all down in the Libby Grove area. You're right near all of that area and what all of that has to offer. People will choose to live here and then they can still, they can go to Short Pump and go to Wegmans and, um, and access that part of town. And then they can go downtown and go to work if that's where they are or go enjoy the, the parks and everything down there. But it, then you have the little like oasis back here where you can quickly get everywhere, but you're not you know, dealing with short pump traffic. It's flexible. Maybe that's the best word. The word intentionality comes to mind, uh, and I think that would apply to everything here at Libby Mill. Early on, Gumming decided that the overall vision for Libby Mill Midtown, that they wanted to take an architectural influence from downtown Richmond. Mixed-use communities that are built today have this, this air, or this feeling of being inauthentic, and so we were really intentional about selecting materials for the buildings and for the streetscapes that was reflective of what Richmond's all about. I was the manager at the previous location and many people did not want us to move. When they come and see this building, they'll come to me and say, I totally get it. You walk in our doors and it is just cool space. Everyone who comes in um, just really loves how cool, contemporary, but warm it is. You know, it's got a great feel to it. It has the look of being in the fan. It has the ease and convenience of being in a suburban park. And it extends into, in particular, the retail tenants that we have in place. Retail-wise, it's going to be a very unique selection of people. But the feel is going to want to be very authentic to what Richmond has always been. It's, it's easy to just develop a strip mall, but that, at the end of the day, doesn't result in a special place and doesn't stand the test of time. Libby Mill Midtown is lively, uh, and I think if you visit the, um, the site on any given day, you can see um, you know, activity going on. We, we have activities today occurring regularly at Libby Mill Midtown. We have food trucks, coming in twice a week, at least twice a week. We have uh, morning exercise groups that are coming out two to three times a week. So for the last fiscal year, the last 12 months, we had 381,000 people come through this building. You know, this summer it was fun. We, you know, we as a staff went and daily walked to the different food trucks that they had. And, um, you know, to be in this location and have you know, you know, so many opportunities, it was great. Actually, there are a lot of other dogs here, a lot of other dog owners. She's greeted a lot, we see lots of dogs walking around. I've met people who live in the community. I've also met people who come here to walk their dogs. Well, I personally come to Libby Mill all the time. Um, I spend Saturdays um, in the morning at the lake with my kids and I love the great outdoor atmosphere that we've created. And even there were even some Wednesday nights that I participated in the community yoga. So um, it was very, very cool. I'm not sure how many places can, you know, yeah. tout that. Literally when people walked in when we first opened, their eyes were wide and they just couldn't believe that this place, the special, beautiful place was for them. No, we're no longer talking about what's going to be here. We're able to show people and show individuals, here's what's here now and here's what's coming. As far as your employees and being able to build something that suits what your folks will need and want going forward, this is a perfect spot. I couldn't recommend it more, you know. It's not downtown and it's not short pump. It's midtown. It's the anti-suburban office park, if you will. It's the anti-bedroom community. This is a live, work, learn, and play community.